Guys, are you concerned about your car paint getting faded? Then keep watching this video guys because I am going to tell you 7 things that will help you to save your car paint from fading. My name is Raisan and I am an auto body and paint expert author and instructor and welcome to Raisan Spray Booth. So it is going to be a very interesting video guys. So see that you like the video now only. And if you are coming on this channel for the first time, see that you subscribe and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos. So come on, let's start the video. So guys, if you are afraid that your car paint is getting faded, I will tell you 7 things. Some of the things you will have to do, some of the things you will have to avoid doing. And when you do all of that guys, you will save your car from fading. And the paint on your car will last for a long long time. So with that, Let's see what is the first thing that you should do to save your car paint from fading. But before that, let's give a heading for this video guys. And the heading of this video will be How to save your car paint from fading. Yes guys. The first thing that you will have to do guys to save your car paint is you will have to wash your car at least once per month. Yes guys, that is what I recommend washing the car only once per month guys. Because I have made a detailed video on how to save your car from rusting. Go and watch that video, it's a very important video. In that video I have explained in detail what happens if you wash your car more frequently. I will put a link of that video in the end screen so you can later go there and watch that video as well. So guys, why you have to wash the car at least once a month? Because when you take your car out, you park it somewhere. Some bird droppings are there on the car. Some dogs pee on your car. Now this pee, this bird droppings are like acid guys. And it will burn a layer of your paint. And if you keep it like that without washing the car for a long time, then guys, that part will lose the shine because the layer is gone from there. Also when you are washing the car guys, you can't use harsh chemicals like detergents or dishwash soap. These things also take a layer off of your paint. They can strip off your paint protective layers guys. Use a gentle car shampoo to wash your car. And once you are done washing your car guys, you can apply wax. Because wax creates that protective barrier on top of your paint. It will protect your paint from UV rays, from pollutants. And by waxing your car guys, it will not only give you that shine that you want, but it will also provide you with that additional layer of protection. So waxing plays a very important role guys. And with that, let's move on to the second thing that you should be doing to save your paint from fading guys is the most important point is park in a shade. Yes guys. You will have to park your car in a shade because if you park the car in the hot sun, prolonged exposure to direct sunlight can fade your paint very fast guys. It will cause oxidation and your paint will lose its luster. So go and check around your house where is the shadiest part. But guys the thing to remember here, don't park your car under a tree because when you park your car under a tree, who sits on the trees? Birds sit. And just imagine how many bird droppings you will get on your car. Apart from that, dry leaves will fall on your car and they will choke all the drains of your car which can cause rusting guys. So it is a big no-no, never park your car under a tree. So what if you don't have the shade? If you don't have the shade around your house then guys you will have to build a garage. Build a small one just to keep your car under it which can protect it from UV rays. You will have to find a garage guys. Because the more you keep it in the rain, the more you keep it under the sun, the chances of your paint getting faded increases drastically. So you will have to protect your car from this natural phenomenon guys. So keep it in a garage or keep it in the shade. Moving on to the third point that you can do guys to protect your paint from fading is you can apply PPFs. Yes, paint protection films. Yes guys. PPF is one more way to protect your paint from fading. These paint protection films are clear and are durable guys. Now I have made a detailed video on PPF guys. If you guys have not watched that video, 
then I will put a link of that video in the end screen so you can later go there and watch that video as well and see how PPFs can help you. Guys, if you want to put PPF on your car, then you will need a professional to do it. But it also comes with a high cost, guys. And always apply a good quality PPF on your car. Although it seems expensive, it is like an investment, guys, because it has long-term benefits as it will protect your car from minor scratches, from paint fading, and it will keep your car looking like new for a long, long time. So think about the long-term benefits that you will get when you are thinking of applying the PPF, guys. And if you are thinking of applying the cheap quality PPFs, then you better don't put them on your car as they will destroy your paint and then you will have to paint the whole car, guys. So moving on to the fourth thing that you can do, guys, to protect your car paint from fading. And the fourth thing is you can apply, yes, guys, you can apply ceramic coating. Now, how many of you people have heard about ceramic coating, guys? Do let me know in the comment section below. Now, this ceramic coating provides a high level of protection to your paint, guys. And it creates a ceramic bond with the surface. Now, this coat, guys, also acts as a UV rays shield. And it will give your paint the protection from UV rays. And it will also protect your paint from chemical stains, from bird droppings. And it is very easy to clean and maintain as well, guys. And the best part about it is, it lasts a long, long time. So if you don't have a garage or if you don't have a shade and you have to park your car in the hot sun, then you can opt for these two options, guys, PPF and applying ceramic coating. That will be like an additional protection to your paint, which will allow your paint to last longer. Now the fifth point, which I'm about to tell you guys, is a very tricky point, guys. So listen to me very carefully because people do this mistake and they end up ruining the paint on their car. And the fifth point is guys, fifth point is avoid color sanding. If you do color sanding, then obviously you will have to do the buffing as well. Now to do the buffing, it is not a problem, but doing color sanding too often on your car paint will lessen the protection of your car paint and it will start to fade very fast guys. Although color sanding and buffing makes your car paint looks like new, if you do it too many times on your car, it will keep on taking out layers from your clear coat, guys, reducing the thickness of your clear coat. And when the thickness of your clear coat reduces, the protection also reduces. And your base coat is more exposed to the UV rays now. And because of which, your paint will start to fade very fast. It is an excellent way, guys, to bring back the shine. If you have orange peel on your car paint, guys, if you have waves on your car paint, then this color sanding and buffing is an excellent way to get that flat and even surface and that, to get that mirror-like finish. And it can be done even at home, guys. But you need to know some secrets about it. And like this, if you want to learn auto body and painting or if you want to learn color sanding and buffing, if you want to know how to mix the automotive paints, if you want to know how to spray the paint, if you want to know how to set up your spray guns in a very step-by-step -step manner, then you don't have to worry about it at all, guys, because I have created a step-by-step -step course on it. And I have put a link of that course in the description below, guys. So if you are a hobbyist or a DIY or an automotive enthusiast who likes to do things by himself, who fixes his own car or bike, or if you like the restoration process of restoring a bike or car, then don't waste any time, guys. Go down below and get yourself enrolled, and I will see you guys on the inside. So in your car's entire lifespan, guys, you can do this color sanding and buffing only one or two times, that's it. But if you repaint your car with Biscoat Clear Coat System, then you can do color sanding and buffing for more times. So moving on to the sixth thing that you should be doing, guys. Now this sixth thing is you will have to do it before even buying the car, guys. And that is buy a car which has a good paint system. Yes, guys. Buy a car which has a good paint system on it. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, when you are thinking of buying a car, you will not just go in the showroom and buy the car. You will first select a model, select a brand, and you know what type of a car you want. So when you know what type of a car you want, now you go in the traffic, you see that car. You see many colors of that car. You, see, you observe the color, guys. See which colors you see more often faded. Now, when you see that color faded in many cars, you know that 
you should avoid that color because that color has a problem and it fades very fast. So practice this guys, when you are about to buy a car, look for the colors which are fading more in that particular brand and that particular model and on that you can figure out that that color is going to fade very fast. So stay away from that color. Also when you go to buy the car, see that you see what type of paint system is there on the car. If it has the single stage paint system or if it has the base coat clear coat system, you should be checking all these things guys. My recommendation is always opt for base coat clear coat system because it gives more protection to the paint and it lasts longer than the single stage paint system. Now I have already made a video on how to check what type of paint system is there on your car. If you have not watched that video, then I will put a link of that video in the i button above. You can go there and watch that video as well. So let's move on to the seventh and the last thing that you can do to protect your car paint from fading. And the seventh thing is do regular maintenance. Yes guys. You will have to do the regular maintenance. You will have to check your car for paint chip offs, if any dent exposing the metal. And to know all of this, you will have to do regular rounds around your car to find out where the paint is chipped off. So for that, you should know how to do the touch ups to cover the metal properly. Because once your metal starts to rust, guys, it spreads very quickly. And to know how to do the basic restorations, you can enroll in my course anytime guys. Because rusting is a big issue guys and you will have to keep your eyes open on that. Especially on the car wheels where the dogs come and pee all the time, they get rusted very fast. So all these things you will have to keep in your mind and you will have to do the regular maintenance. So guys, if you found this video useful, then see that you like and share with your friends and family so that they also can benefit from it. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos. Till then, this is Ryzen Finance signing out. Until we meet again.